Welcome back to the Good Green Home Show with Rich and Shauna. This is one of the most anticipated segments of the show. <laughs> Shauna is going to teach us this time how to make herb infused vodka. Vodkas, exactly. And you can use any vodka that is your favorite to do this. Uh, but first, I want to tell you the difference between herb and spices. Did you know that there's a difference? Uh, no, I'm just no. gonna say no. No, no. Know, you're supposed sounds, to know everything. I should Come know on. a lot more about <laughs> plants than I actually do. Okay, so herbs are really herbaceous plants. Um, they can be perennial herbs. Uh, they can they can be a soft stemmed or hard stemmed, um, but a spice is not the plant itself. Herb, herbs are herbaceous. Herbs I'm sorry, I get back, back on that. But it's just herbaceous. So that they're soft. They, it's like saying they plants are plants. Plant, plants are plants, and they smell good. Uh, but the difference between a spice and an herb is a spice is a byproduct of a plant. It's a seed. It is a berry um, it, it could be, a, you know, part of a stick, like cinnamon mm -hmm. is a part of a bark off of a tree. Uh, it's so it's a part of a plant, but it's not the actual greenery, the quote herbaceous, uh, part of the plant. So, I always thought herbaceous mean, meant pretty much not woody. No, exactly. And there's botanical herb, and then there's the perennial herbs. A botanical herb is definitely something that is greener, mm -hmm. uh, leafier, and uh, a perennial herb can be something different. Sage, for instance, is an herb that is quite woody. Mm -hmm. I mean, the stems. Mm -hmm. and Rosemary can get kind of woody Exactly, as well. yeah. exactly. And uh, sage, for me, I, I live in Zone 5B, and it's really a perennial plant, but mm -hmm. there's some heavy dieback in late summer if it gets really hot. And then you have all these stems that look kind of unattractive. Uh, but the, gathering the sage is worth it. Uh, you can do other things besides make cocktails from herbs, obviously. One of the favorite things I like to do is take a sage leaf and you put it in a, on a hot... Uh, I use iron skillets with a little bit of oil, and you actually fry the sage, and then you crumble it on top of a dish like a chicken dish. or oh, a, It's delicious. That sounds delicious. Yeah, so try the fried sage. I mean, it's really wonderful. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about how to infuse herbs into vodka. Mm -hmm. You are going to love how easy this is. This is super easy. Super easy. So my favorite vodka is Tito's. I, I mean, I've tried many others, but I really love say. Tito's. I know it's my favorite. Be she opened this bottle last night. No, <laughs> it is really inexpensive for the quality that you get. So I love it a lot. All right, I'm going to pour and show you what I've done. I've actually put thyme in here. What I like to do is give it a little crush before I put it in so that you release some of the herbal essences. A little bit of the oil. Yep. And then I pour in the vodka. That's a un very unscientific uh, mm -hmm. amount. Oh, you're, uh, just, you're just going I'm for killing it. it. You're I'm going killing for it. it. We're going for the whole bottle there. Now, I put the lid on, and then I give it a little shake. I know. It's really technical, too. Give it a little shake. Boom. And I leave it set for about a week. Mm. Don't touch it. Don't do anything to it whatsoever. And at the end of that week, that vodka is going to taste just like the herb. Okay. I'm going to take the spearmint, and I'm only going to take a few stems of this mm -hmm. because I don't want to take the whole plant. Here, clip like it we with a clipper about. if you want. And don't do what I did, which was try <laughs> to break it with your hand because that actually can damage the plant a little bit. Um, so it's kind of one of those do as I say, not as I do moments <laughs> there you have it. I'm and taking the clippers from Dram, and yeah, I've I like clipped the Dram clippers. about four good-sized branches and a few smaller uh, branches of the spearmint. Mm -hmm. Just throw it in there. And we're just, are we going to crush it up a little to get Yeah, some just crush it. If you wanted to use a muddler, you could give it a little muddle a if you want to. A slight muddle? Yeah, just a slight muddle is fine. Okay, we've got our spearmint right. in you the jar. You set that here, and I will start pouring vodka. Oh, man, that smells good. The, the, oh, just incredible. cutting the mint, you could smell the oil. Oh, this is like heaven right now. And you go ahead and do the basil next. Okay, we're going to do the basil yep, next. So while I'm she's pouring. pouring that, I'm preparing the basil. I'm going to take a few branches of that, and I'm going to use the clippers. Now, you can leave these set on a shelf if you prefer, um, but I like to keep them in the fridge. 
Uh, I can't be, first of all, it's cold. Um, I know that the herbs are going to last a little longer. In fact, this will last several weeks. Some people swear that it lasts months uh, with no problem, but I think that uh, once you put the herbs in there, give it no more than a month. In my experience, hey, audience, if you can correct me, go, go ahead and go for it. I will give both of these a little shake. And here's my, the best part. Boom, you're done. These are ready for cocktails in one week. Here we have the thyme vodka, spearmint vodka, and basil mm -hmm. vodka. Really yummy and really easy to do. That's the end of our segment. It's well, all about the vodka. It's also the end of our show, and we don't have to go home, but we can't stay here. No. <laughs> and I can't wait for next week when these vodkas will be ready to drink. So Cocktails, my friend. That's what we're going to do. Maybe we can bring those with on next week's show and we take will. a sip. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, once again, that's the Good Green Home Show with Rich and Shauna. We'll see you next time. And remember to keep calm and, and green, green on. on. to stop garden insects before they become a problem? Bonite All Seasons Horticultural Spray is your answer and will stop your garden insects before they hatch. Early spring smothers most insect eggs left behind by last year's plant destroying insects. Bonite's All Season Horticultural Spray Oil will destroy insect eggs in early spring and if used throughout the season, will control all stages of insects. Bonite All Season Spray Oil is recommended for use on shade trees, fruit trees, shrubs, roses, and ornamental plants. Bonite All Season Horticultural spray oil is easy to use and an all natural product that can be used all season long. Bonite products are family made in America. All Seasons Horticultural spray oil is available at your local hardware store, garden center, or farm feed store, or go to bonite.com for a retailer near you. Hi, Rich from Al Sapoma Nursery in St. John here to remind you to think outside the box store and shop at your locally owned Best of the Northwest Indiana Region Garden Center. Home and nursery, the best of every season. In Frankfurt on LaGrange Road in St. John on Route 41, see their weekly circular at allsipnursery.com.